Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 Online video. And in this video, I want to discuss one of my previous videos talking about some future updates to Red Dead Online. Now, I wanted to go over some of the comments that have been happening in, on that video and some of the things that I thought were absolutely amazing that people came up with with what they would like to see come to Red Dead Online. But before we actually get into that video, all I want to say is Bloody Snowman and Mason Jar, there is that flippin' floating object above my head. See? Now you guys can see it. What the heck is this? Now what I plan to do is put a couple comments on the screen, not necessarily all at the same time, but kind of go over them one by one. And what I would like to do is just kind of give some examples of some really amazing feedback that my last video got about some ideas that they can incorporate into Red Dead Online. So these are in no particular order. And if you guys don't see your comment just because you left a comment on my other video, it doesn't mean that I didn't add it. It's just that there were a lot of really good ideas and I can't put them all into one video for you guys. But what I would like you guys to do, if you guys don't see your comment here, or if you guys have other amazing ideas for future updates to Red Dead Online, please go ahead and add them to the comment section down below because I want to see if these videos can get recognized by maybe somebody at Rockstar or Take-Two Interactive and get some of these things incorporated into the game, which I think would be absolutely amazing. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I am going to do is apologize in advance for mispronouncing any of these usernames but the first one here is from the super cycle killer we need new ways to earn xp in free mode many games like poker and blackjack maybe a part-time job like serving beer or whiskey to players and npcs we also need to own our own businesses to earn passive income Stacy Burke says, I could care less for new races, showdown modes, or daily challenges. I want new free roam content that happens organically and new clothes. Also, bring in the trapper. Now, in reply to Stacy Burke, Whiskey Woodard says, I have a really good idea for people who like to roleplay a bit. Getting max honor, you should have the ability to become deputized and receive a star to wear. Also, ponchos, emote wheel, proximity blurps, bounty hunters to track griefers, trapper with more clothing to craft more weapons, housing, ranching, wagons, or carriages with the ability to outfit with crates, maximum guns, or an area to store more animal carcasses, duels, pokers, dominoes, bank heists, or train heists that you can trigger in free mode. These are both, all these are awesome ideas, and I hope that they honestly incorporate all of them. Big Hawk says, game's boring, the need to put properties and businesses to buy, and the need to add poker tables in the saloons and train heists. Now quickly, I want to touch on the specific topic of poker, because there are a ton of people that would like to see this actually happen, but I don't know if Rockstar will actually do this just because of gambling licenses or online gambling, even though it would be considered in a game or fake gambling. I just don't know if it's going to be something that's going to happen, but only time will tell if that's something that they decide to add to Red Dead Online. Now, the next one is a little long, so I'm going to try to paraphrase it as much as possible, but it is by Ronald Carlson, and he agreed with me that we need to add more butchers to the north and more just across the map entirely. Then the option to be able to sell tonics, food, and other things that we don't currently use, but we're able to get from maybe like houses or looting from people would be a great addition to the game. It is something that I completely agree with, and I hate having all my tonics because some of them I never use and being able to sell them would be amazing. Now these next two I decided to group together because one is in reply to the other one, but they are from New Bright Hybrids and Old Blood. I want to use dogs when hunting, PvP and aimbot is bogus, spawns during PvP is so random I'm always getting shot in the back, I want to be able to mine for gold inside of caves and mines, swim underwater, go to Guarma, go to prison and fly the legendary Pegasus. Now Old Blood's reply is, I never thought about mining but that would be super dope. I want to be able to have fishing boats, which I completely agree with. I want to be able to have nice houseboats near St. Denis and Van Horn. And I want to be able to fish in better spots besides fishing on land. Now, I don't know about you guys, but there is definitely a lot of 
carcass fishing going on in the game and it would be nice to actually have really good fishing spots instead of being able to always use the exploit to get fish to always come to you just my personal opinion now the next one is by bf triple x they need to incorporate the kind of things that kept grand theft auto going it could be import export style businesses where you can go and steal a certain horse and store it in your stables and then sell it to them for a profit. Businesses like the biker businesses say as a moonshine business where you can steal some supplies and bring them back to your place and produce the moonshine to sell or tobacco things like that. Now, I do completely agree with this entire thing. I would love to be able to have actual operational businesses, moonshine. Um, we have some of the tobacco fields that we could actually start to do, like premium cigarettes or cigars. Things like that would be absolutely amazing where you guys could actually own your own farm and slowly build it over time. I don't know how they would incorporate that into Red Dead because it feels like a lot of people would have space, especially with like the style of camps that we currently have. But if they could figure a way to actually do it, it would be truly amazing. Now the next one is by Root Row Wolf Gamer, and I dare you to try to say that three times fast, and I'm not even gonna try it because I will mess it up horribly. But he suggests fight clubs, which we could probably already do, but it would be nice to be able to get rid of all of your weapons and flat out just have a fist fight with a group of players, which he does kind of go on to say. Now he also does say that it'd be nice to be able to have hunting or fishing with your own businesses, more involvement with your posse, which I completely agree with. I suggested like a hunting party, which he does as well. Maybe be able to fast forward like 30 years in early transportation, motorcycles, cars, things like that. New guns added. Now we do know that there are other games that have had DLCs that go into specific time modes, but jumping just a few years into the future might be very beneficial for Red Dead Online. But I would really like to see them grow the current state because personally, I really like the 1899 or 98 setting versus actually even remotely jumping time periods right now. Um, it's just an era that I really enjoy and I think there's a lot of opportunities that are even suggested in comments like this that Rockstar hasn't even probably thought of yet. Now this next comment comes from Tronic which they believe Rockstar needs to focus more on Red Dead Redemption 2 more than Grand Theft Auto 5 or Grand Theft Auto Online. Now. I know why Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive are focusing so much on GTA and that's because it's such a cash cow right now and it has been for such a long time and it's still generating this much money over all this time. But I do agree that they have this new baby which is Red Dead Online or Red Dead Redemption 2, whatever you would like to call it, and they do need to put some more emphasis on it. Now there's definitely a crowd that's always going to play Grand Theft Auto 5 which is great, but there's a new crowd that's going to be capitalizing on Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Online. And if they really focus on creating the content like suggested, like more free roam capabilities instead of just having showdown after showdown, like the new game mode Gun Rush, I believe that Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive could actually kind of bridge that gap and have players that either play both or older players that like Red Dead Redemption and younger players that like Grand Theft Auto 5. And this point kind of makes that, and I completely agree with it. Stuart00311 says, wants, fix the griefing, move the butchers to the outer areas of the towns, and allow us to use dogs as other people have previously stated. Now, I want to address the griefing one real quickly here because Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive have said that they do have a resolve to the griefing in the game, but it will be an update later. I just don't know what that actually entails or what it looks like yet, but I would love to see a bounty hunter system where we would get rewarded or paid for hunting down a griefer. Now that person would have to do a lot in order for that to happen or maybe having like steps happen, you know, like if a griefer kills five people, then maybe they're worth X amount of dollars and if they kill 10, then maybe it's 15 or whatever it might be, but I think that would be pretty awesome if they would do that. Now, I have stated in my videos that I would love to have more butchers added to the games in general, and that would kind of solve some of the griefing at butchers that we currently are seeing anyway. Now, this next comment comes from the Southern Bell. I love this game, but it is so freaking broken. Rockstar needs to fix the stranger missions and hunting and the gang hideouts. I have so many issues while playing. 
They should have fixed some of these issues when they added Gun Rush. Fix what the hell is broke before you add more content and screw it up. Now, I couldn't agree more with this comment. And I do want to talk about the gang hideouts real quickly because I don't know about you guys, but I play on the Xbox version and I cannot for the life of me actually complete a gang hideout anymore. It just never allows me to finish it or get the cleared gang hideout and get the 150 experience points. It just kind of chills on my map. And I've done this with posse members. I've done this with random players throughout the world. And we just kind of all look at each other like, now what do we do? It's so broken. And I do completely agree with the Southern Bell. Fix the issues that you currently have before focusing on things and causing more problems down the line. Now, before I go ahead and finish this video, I would like to address the most common comment that was mentioned in the previous video, and that is that Red Dead Online is dying. Now, I completely disagree. I don't think that Red Dead Online is dying at all, and it's still in the beta phase, and I do believe that Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive have huge plans for Red Dead Online for us as players. And I can guarantee that some of the ideas that we have aren't even scratching the surface for what they have in store for us as players. And I can't even fathom the things that they are gonna give to us over time, but we just have to be patient with Rockstar. Now, I do wish that Rockstar wouldn't have brought in the microtransactions during the beta phase. I do think that was a little inappropriate in my honest opinion, but it is what it is. But that's all the time that I have for today's video. If you guys do wanna leave a comment about what you guys would like to see in Red Dead Online, whether it's a certain fix or an idea that you would like to see brought into Red Dead Online, leave a comment down below because I might feature it in a future video for you guys. But if you guys do it, enjoy my videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.